Hello, CFCA families and students. Today we're continuing our study in the story of Joseph and the good news that what man intends for evil, God uses for good. In Genesis 40, 44, and 45, we find that God cares for us even when we are alone. The story of Joseph continues in this way. In Genesis 40, Joseph is alone in prison, and he meets Pharaoh's chief baker and cupbearer. He becomes their friend in prison, yet he's forgotten by the cupbearer when he's released. Joseph is then later released and put in a position of power, yet he's still alone. In Genesis 44, Joseph's brothers don't even recognize him when they come to get food from the famine. In Genesis 45, Joseph reveals himself to his brothers and then tells them in verse 5, Do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. Joseph understands that God was in control the whole time, even when he was alone and forgotten. Have you ever been alone? Like truly alone. Joseph was completely alone. He was abandoned, forgotten, waiting in a foreign country. Right now, you may feel alone, waiting for this time of uncertainty to end but you aren't alone. Even though this feels foreign, God is in control. In the book of Job, the Lord has allowed the devil to test Job by destroying his wealth. His source of income is herd of animals. His house, which fell down and killed his children. All he has left is his wife, his friends, but most of all, his faith. In Job 13, he tells his friends who are trying to get him to curse God, though God slays me, I will hope in him. God is with us, and he is always working in our lives to bring a heavenly or eternal perspective, just like he did with Job and Joseph. In Genesis 45, Joseph explains to his brothers that he's not dead. It was God using their evil to bring about God's purpose. God prepared Job for his test. He prepared Joseph for his. What purpose are you being prepared for? God is preparing you right now, even through this crazy and unprecedented time. If you aren't sure, then just rest. How do you rest? Well, one, you rest in this promise in Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. Use this time to remember, to be still, and rest in the comfort that God cares for you. And then secondly, trust him. It sounds hard, but when you trust him and you rest, God will reveal himself to you in ways you would never expect. Students, we miss seeing your faces every day and pray that you stay safe. We'll see you soon. God bless.